This is Becky Legiro with Andy Karras Altis. He is the CEO of Traffic Generation and an expert in land based casinos and their movement and convergence with the online social casino space. And uh, let's begin by talking about some of the opportunities for the land based casinos. Why should they be looking at the online casino space? It's a really good question. Um, I think it's an inevitable change in their world. It's not about the millennials getting onto their cell phones. It's actually about people engaging with digital channels generally. You've got competition increasing. There's more casinos being built. You've got uh, interstate lotteries. And you've got a general movement to the digital uh, domain. And if we look at the behavior of gamblers, we have the millennials, but we also have the more mature, 45 plus, 40, 55 plus, your core slots players who are so important to a casino's p &L, they are moving online. So what does it mean for the average casino? It means you can drive revenue, additional incremental growth with very small risk of cannibalization. You can engage with your players. You can build it into your loyalty scheme and have holistic omni-channel marketing and really push away from some of the traditional marketing channels that are getting more difficult. Um, sending out paper um, mailers yeah. is getting more difficult. Um, email has emerged, but you know, there are other channels as well. So I think there's a, there's a range of revenue and marketing and player development channel, opportunities for all these people. Excellent. And let, let's address one of the fears that uh, especially the tribal casinos have, cannibalization. Um, can you elaborate on why offering an online social casino uh, product would not, in fact, cannibalize the land-based casino? Yeah, with our business at Traffigen, um, we provide a marketing tool set that sits across the land-based casino management system, the property management system, and the digital casino. And so we see the data for all of those different players. And it's absolutely unequivocal that cannibalization really isn't an issue. Mm -hmm. There's a lot spoken um, about this issue, and there's been a lot at the IGNA conference uh, this week about it. But the data is clear. There's incremental growth in in-property and overall lifetime value. You're going to make more money from your players. The session links will increase. The amount of visits to the property will increase. Your opportunity to get new customers through the door. Uh, I wish there was more of a debate to be had, but the data is clear. Cannibalization isn't an issue. Well, sounds really like a no-brainer here. Um, well, so the, this whole concept is relatively new for, for land-based casinos. So can you give me some examples on, on the right way to do this and, and the wrong way to do this? Well, starting with the, the negatives, the, it's quite a common thing, unfortunately, is siloization. Mm -hmm. It's buying a digital casino, giving it to a single marketing person in your uh, property, and then abandoning it. Mm -hmm. Saying to them, you're your own cost center, go and do something exciting with it. Um, and that happens more often than not. The right way to do it, and what we've seen with our customers who've succeeded, is that it's in integrated as part of your overall marketing plan. You involve your player development people. You involve your property marketing team, your loyalty team. You incorporate it with your property management system, so bookings as prizes, uh, loyalty points, uh, gameplay. And you use that to engage your customer. And when people do that, that's when we see the incremental growth. That's when we see the lack of cannibalization. And it really, really flies. Well, it sounds like we have a fantastic opportunity here. Thank you so much for sharing your expertise with me today. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you. This is Becky Legiro with Andy Karas Altis. Thanks for watching Calvinair.com. <laughs>